This summer, Brighton & Hove played host to a number of matches at the Women's Euro Tournament, with fans from around the world coming to the city to support their countries and enjoy the hospitality on offer. For journalists covering events in Brighton for decades, the sheer magnitude of the tournament was a sight to behold. It's been wonderful for Brighton to uh, host some of the matches for the uh, Women's Euros. I think people in Brighton were really pleased to have the tournament here. Mm. Fans were great. The games were great. Mm. And uh, I, 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 think, I think these kind of sporting, sporting events, these kind of things don't come around too often. The, the level of attention, particularly as the tournament went on, um, was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. One of the major attractions in the city of Brighton was the Euro Fan Park, which saw fans streaming in on match days to enjoy a bit of recreation before heading off to the stadium itself. The fan parks had a bit of everything, games and challenges for kids and adults alike, and plenty of food and drink to stay refreshed in the sweltering heat. The successful organization of matches during the tournament has left local journalists like Frank feeling very optimistic about the city's sporting future. I think, you know, there are things like the Rugby World Cup. There are other tournaments that I suspect that could well take place here. And, and the club is outward looking. It's, it's, you know, it's up for it, if you like. It, it's, it's open for business. And, um, uh, you know, I, I think they're very enterprising, actually, uh, you know, Brighton. Events such as these don't come around very often. And keeping that in mind, I just had to try my own hand at a sport they call the beautiful game. Sarthak Sharma, Overtime Online.